Hello, and welcome, my slimy leaves. Have you ever heard about the Dragon Quest lore? Well, if not, I will explain it to you, don't worry. And I will also explain to you that it might not actually be a real thing. In Japan, weekends often hold a special significance for gamers. Thanks to what is known as the aforementioned Dragon Quest Law, also sometimes called the Dragon Quest Syndrome. What is this syndrome, though? Or law, if you want. You see, when a new Dragon Quest game is released, it's not just another day in the gaming world. It's a cultural event that can impact everything from work schedule to stock market trends. This phenomenon basically started due to the huge popularity of the Dragon Quest franchise in Japan, which, yeah, is debatable where the popularity comes from, but I mean, it's a solid game series that's very much filled with humor and charm, and like I said before, Akira Toriyama's art style probably did help with that as well. And whenever a new installment is announced, nor even released, yeah, the anticipation that reaches a fever pitch of unknown proportions. It's similar to some game releases we had in the West as well. I mean, look at just these lines of people waiting for a release to happen. So, according to the urban myth, a so-called Dragon Quest law was passed, where the government said it cannot be sold on weekdays because employees of companies, as well as children in schools, just took sick days to go and buy as well as play the game. However, such a law never existed. The truth behind this is that after the first three Dragon Quest games were so popular and with the release of Dragon Quest 4 becoming an undeniably breakout hit, which was very much foreseeable, series director Yuji Hori and Enix worked with Nintendo to start moving the release to Saturdays because of kids missing school and employees missing work, which is an understandable thing as, well, People still need to go work. I know games are great and I like to play them as well. However, taking a vacation day, that is one thing. Taking sick days, that's not the right thing to do. And I definitely never did such a thing. No, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. What? what why, are, why are you looking at me like that? In recent years, Square Enix, the developer behind Dragon Quest, has embraced this cultural phenomenon. They strategically release new games on weekends, often on Saturdays, to minimize disruptions and ensure that fans can fully immerse themselves in the experience. And quite honestly, I like games being released on Fridays or maybe Saturdays because, you know, you have the whole weekend to play your shiny new game. It just makes sense, right? Imagine a game being released on a Tuesday. Yeah, you might be able to play in the evening after school or work, but not much, like a couple of hours and that's it, because you have to go to school or work the next day, which is like, not a thing you wanna do. You have that shiny new game, and you want to polish it even further. Or if it turns out to be a bad game, that might be a blessing in disguise. But well, when you next time are in Japan on a Saturday, of all things, and see a lot of people lining up outside a gaming store, then you gotta wonder, you still buying retail and not digital? I'm joking, of course. A lot of people still buy retail and retail won't die as quickly as people think it will. But well, if you happen to see that, it is probably not just another weekend. It is probably the release day of a new Dragon Quest title. 
And we desperately need more of those. Come on, Square Enix, bring over Dragon Quest X offline. Or maybe the online version even. It's the only online game I would actually pay for to play it. And Dragon Quest Three HD. That I want to. Yeah. I should mention, I am recording this on the day right before Nintendo Direct. Where Dragon Quest Three might be announced already, so... What I just said, hey, maybe we already got it by now. This is how videos work. You will record them, you edit them, you release them. In that time span, a lot of things can happen. Don't mind that, though. But, well, that is the history of the Dragon Quest Law or Dragon Quest Syndrome. Or call it whatever you want, because it is fake. It is just an urban myth. There was never an official law passed down that stated that a game, in this case Dragon Quest, cannot be re released outside of the weekend. Like I said, it just makes sense for a game to be released on the weekend. But, well, yeah, urban myths can be pretty fun, honestly. And the choice Square Enix, or back then it was still only Enix, I guess, made... That was a good choice, I would say, because you want to play on the weekend, right? And that is also why my videos are released on weekends. And if you don't want to miss a video, how about you... I don't know, that there, there was something there. Oh yeah, you like and subscribe as well as ringing that little bell to keep updated whenever I upload a new video for you. Also, check out the links down in the description below, leading to my Kofi, where you can support me, get some goodies off of it, as well as to my Twitter and Instagram, where I post stuff, keep you updated, all these good things. And, of course, my Twitch, where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I hope to see you over there as well. And until next time, have a very urban, leafy... bye -bye. Dragon Quest is just the best game series out there, don't you think?